Hey, what's up guys? It's me again, Tim, C4, C4 the Beast. And I'm gonna bring you another dinner recipe, quick, simple, and easy. And today we're gonna be doing stuffed bell peppers with ground beef. It's in the sink, defrosting. And I'm gonna go ahead and I took some liberties of cutting out some steps so this video won't be so long. Oven already preheated at 350. That stove. It's already hot, onions and garlic already chopped up. That's about, that's about half an onion and there's about two garlic cloves in there. You're gonna be using some pasta sauce and some shredded cheese. Mostly mozzarella, but kind of ate most of it. So I'm gonna be just doing some of these with the Fiesta Blanc cheese. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started on cooking on these garlics and onions and then we'll continue with the next step. Okay, so you're gonna wanna cook these onions and garlic till about tender, two to three minutes. For the next step, what we're gonna be doing is that we're gonna take one of these bell peppers, actually all of them, I have eight here, it's uh, gonna feed two per person. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the tops off and clean them out. So, I'll go ahead and do that for you, right there. Let me set you down. All right, like my Stewie t-shirt. Okay, so you're gonna basically take the top off and you're gonna clean out the middle. Try to clean out as best as you can because you wanna really stuff these, <clears throat> excuse me. And don't worry about that because I have a trash can right there. Okay, so you wanna kinda clean that out pretty good, right? seeds and all that other stuff. So we're gonna do that with the rest of them. I don't wanna make you watch the rest, but I just kinda of want to show you what I'm talking about. Keep the cap, you're gonna need it later, okay? Okay, so it's been a couple minutes since the last time I checked in with you. These onions and garlic, pretty much done. All right, and I've re removed all the caps from the bell pepper, so they're nice and empty. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna add the ground beef to that um, garlic and onions. And then we're gonna just brown the beef and then we'll move on to the next step. Smells delicious already, mainly the onions. And do it here, let's take the next step. And add some black pepper. A little bit of salt. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish cooking this. And then we're gonna go on to the next step. Trying to make this video short. Got a couple of people say that my cheeseburger casserole video was a little lengthy. But if you're gonna do something, you might as well do it right, correct? So, go ahead and continue this and I'll be right back. Okay, so like the last video, you're gonna drain the excess fat from your ground beef. So, do that real quick. All right, so that's all right if some of those onions stayed in there. It's just trying to drain the fat. Okay, we're gonna do the next step. We're gonna take your marinara sauce, traditional pasta sauce, great value, what's up Walmart? All right, shout out, give me a discount. <laughs> and pop that sucker open. Don't be needing that no more. And there you go. That's a lot, but it's gonna be delicious. 
probably put a little bit too much. It's all good. I'm gonna work that in there and kind of let that warm up a little bit. So definitely, okay, so my mistake, oh, I am human. I do tend to make mistakes. Put a little bit too much pasta sauce. It's gonna work, but it's just a little bit too much. Could have gone with probably a little bit like half a bottle. So learn from my mistake, use about half a bottle. But it's all good, right? We're all, pe we're all people, we make mistakes. All right, so now we're gonna stuff the bell peppers. And I'm gonna go ahead and take a little head start on that. So be right back. All right, so these are the bell peppers when they're stuffed. They got all that goodness that we've just put on the stove. See, it was a little bit too much sauce, but it still worked. So again, oven's been on at 350. I didn't say that earlier, 350. So we're gonna go ahead and pop these in there. We're gonna do about 15 minutes and we're not gonna add the cheese quite yet. We don't want the cheese to be kind of brown. So, set the timer. 15 minutes. All right, so I'll check in with you guys in 15 minutes and be back. Okay, so 15 minutes are up. Turn that off. And <laughs> I'm just go ahead and pull these suckers out. <clears throat> All right. So, next step, add the cheese. All right, so did half with the mozzarella and half with the Fiesta blend. Remember, this is a, to feed your family, so there's four in my household, so there's two apiece. So we'll get one mozzarella, one fiesta cheese, and we're gonna go ahead and throw these back into the oven for maybe about a good seven minutes. Now that's compromising because five I think is not enough, and ten I think would be too much. We just want to pretty much melt the cheese and kind of brown it a little bit. So we'll go with seven minutes on the timer. And then dinner will be done and you will enjoy it with your family. Like I did the last time with the cheeseburger casserole. And the last time I asked you to go ahead and leave some likes, some comments, some shares and subscriptions. And got a couple of you guys to do that, but I saw that was 27 views within the first couple of days. So. Didn't get 27 of any of that stuff. <laughs> so once again, like this video, share this video, um, comment on this video, and subscribe to my channel so you can catch all my latest cooking videos, all my video game videos. I have a Madden one coming up pretty soon because there was an update and I just kind of needed to get around to it. But we're gonna be doing a Madden video pretty soon, probably today, maybe tomorrow, and that's gonna be dropping it's gonna be about the update. I'm not really gonna to talk too much about the season because I mean, yes, preseason already started, but really haven't got into any real football. Um, so really can't really judge what's going on because your team wins one, your team loses one. Uh, there was a fact that came up during one of the games. They had said that the Detroit Lions that went 0-16, the first and only team to actually lose every game in a season was actually undefeated in preseason. So that kind of tells you preseason doesn't really mean shit, right? All right, <laughs> so let's go ahead and I'll see you guys in a few minutes and we'll show you what the end product looks like. All right, guys, so you hear the timer? The seven minutes are up. So let's go ahead and shut it up. And let's bring out the bell peppers. Whoa. Now let me tell you, doesn't that make your mouth want to water a little bit? Look at those, deliciousness. 
deliciousness. I'm gonna go ahead and chow down. Uh, so, that was the stuffed bell pepper video. Once again, do me a favor, like it, subscribe to me, comment, and share. Definitely share, because I only got 27 views the last time, and I do want a little bit more views than 27. You know, I'm not trying to be YouTube famous, but I do want to get the word out. So let's go ahead and plate one of these guys. That one right there. And this one right here. Oh, these are tender. And remember I told you to keep the cap? <laughs> yes. It looks beautiful, doesn't it? So, okay. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I hope you try making the food that I make. Uh, it's good for you. It's fill you up. Got at least three of the four food groups right there. Um, if you want to add the starch, you can make a side of uh, rice and however you make your rice five minutes in a bag rice or you use the steamer that's up to you so um that can add your starch and there's your four food groups because you got your bell pepper as your vegetable you got your ground beef as your meat your cheese as your dairy and then you can add the rice for the starch and you know drink some green tea or something make it healthy all right see you guys bye